The Cane of Iron Fist Tournament, a crucible forged in blood, a stage where legends are born and shattered. For centuries, the Mishima bloodline has danced with fire, their rage fueling the inferno. Now a new chapter burns. Tekken 8. It's not just a game, it's a reckoning. It's a clash of gods and mortals where the fate of the world hangs in the balance. But before you step into the arena, there's something you need to know. Seven secrets, buried deep within the code, waiting to be unearthed. The heat system that will ignite your combos. The rage that burns brighter than ever. The new faces that will challenge your dominance. The returning legends with scores to settle. This isn't Tekken as you know it. This is evolution. So buckle up, fighter. Because before you buy Tekken 8, you need to know the truth. Seven secrets that will make the difference between victory and oblivion. 1. It may be the most visually stunning fighting game ever created. Tekken 8 doesn't take long to remind players that it is the first fighting game designed exclusively for the ninth generation of consoles, powered by the Unreal Engine 5. Smoother than 4K butter and easy on the eyes, it has every stage and character gift wrapped in exquisite detail. Don't believe us, however, when asked what aspects of the early trailers had most wowed viewers, two individuals who had been working closely on this new game engine for a number of years, director Kohai Akita and longtime designer Michael Murray, agreed that it was the graphics. Yes, there's a lot going on below, but it also plays very well. Though Tekken has always been difficult to master defensively and required a great deal of knowledge to avoid being the target of endless combos, Tekken 8 appears to give players a little more flexibility and maneuverability when things get tight, while also offering some of the most explosive battles in the series to date. 2. Heat is a new mechanic which will fire things up in a big way. Heat has replaced Rage in Tekken, which was a combination boost that could be obtained when your health was low to give you a fighting chance. The main distinction is that Heat may be utilized whenever you want which adds another tactical level as you choose the optimal times to use these unique abilities and extend combinations. Should you save it for the last moments, just in case your rival attempts to leg sweep their way to a frustrating win? Alternatively, would you want to leave a mark that starts explosively? One of the reasons the game is so violent is because of heat, according to director Kohai Akita. We wanted to use heat as an aggressive system. It might be difficult to attack when two players are level in a fighting game, but you can now declare, this is my chance to go on the counter. Therefore, the true purpose of this is to encourage you to enjoy yourself by assaulting your opponent. Seeing how players like Arslan Ash utilize heat at the major tournaments would be exciting to watch. 3. A narrative mode certain to rekindle your passion for offline gaming. The days of story mode ruling supreme are long gone. Of course, online gaming has altered all of that but it hasn't prevented the creators from investing a lot of time and resources in creating an intense narrative mode that will capture you in a matter of minutes. The world's destiny remains in Jeopardy as Jin Kazama and Kazuya Mishima's father-son arguments resume where they left off in episode 7. Although solving fatherly problems may seem a little repetitive at this stage, it's still a lot of fun and rewards fans who have been immersed in the story for a long time while masterfully showcasing the Unreal Engine 5. It's in AAA blockbuster territory at one point. The following cut sequences mix smoothly into actual combat difficulties, one of which is a city rumble you won't soon forget. You're back to mashing your controller. 4. The latest characters prove a real handful. It seemed less DLC and more DCU in light of how unexpected some of the character additions in later seasons of Tekken 7. At least for the time being, Tekken is returning to its origins with three brand new characters. Reina, a mysterious Japanese student with enough power to light up a small city, is the first of these characters. Her variety of actions and tough demeanor make her one of the most intriguing new characters in the series, according to designer Michael Murray, who also notes that she may become popular right away. Meanwhile, Azucena, another formidable new female character in the game, is adored by director Koai Akita. With a technical skill set that rivals that of any other fighter in the series, this Peruvian can easily dodge opponents and assume a position that makes you feel like a much superior fighter than your opponent. Victor, a French spymaster with a sharp outfit and keen shooting skills, completes the new round of recruits. Vincent Castle plays Victor. He is there in the heart of the action in narrative mode, having trained up the Raiden unit. Anticipate a fondness for the extravagant in terms of playstyle and demeanor. Although this elegant behemoth specializes in swordplay, he moves much like Noctis from Tekken 7. One to keep an eye on as the seasons change. 5. There will be just as much wanderlust and bloodlust in the new phases. 
In Tekken 8, there are an absurd number of captivating new levels where you may stomp your opponent to pieces. It's full of incredible showstoppers, many of which masterfully introduce the new characters, from Victor's enormous boat floating on the Seine in Paris to a dojo in Vienna. For example, Azucena's home level, Ortiz Farm, is the ideal counterpoint to her exuberant personality since it is nestled high in the highlands of Machu Picchu, Peru. This balcony break is quite delightful, and director Kawai Akita found it to be a true passion project. I wanted to do it since I like stunning world heritage sites and ancient sites like Machu Picchu. If you've played Tekken 6, you'll be aware of Hidden Retreat, a level with sheep that was comparable and had a distinct music and I intended to use the alpacas to do something similar this time. 6. Ghost Mode lets you replicate your playstyle with the help of AI. While AI may be permeating almost every other kind of entertainment, gamers haven't really been able to experience this in any concrete way. Up till now, after only a few fights, Tekken 8's Ghost Mode creates a copy of you to fight against by using cutting-edge AI to learn your movements in incredible detail. In match play, your ghost is more likely to predict your thoughts before you do the more you play. Better better, save a duplicate of your friend's playstyle for times when they're not around. After all, we've all experienced slow Wi-Fi or frustrating occasions when exchanging blows with a CPU gets old. Fighting ghost data has been conceivable in the past, dating back to the online version of Tekken 6, but this represents a far greater advancement for machine learning in the game industry. In the original Tekken 8 version, ghost may be applied to all 32 fighters. Murray thinks this will make you more resilient in the face of failures. Playing against an AI ghost character seems less like losing to a real opponent, even if it plays like a human opponent. Thus, keep in mind not to punish yourself, again, if you fall short against a ghost. 7. Devil Jin has undergone one hell of a transformation. One of those Tekken staples that splits fans' views is Devil Jin. Although he has never been the most straightforward character to grasp, the team's designers have significantly changed his playstyle this time around, making him more approachable than before. Devil Jin is designer Michael Murray's go-to character. He joked that the alterations have been both a boon and a bane for him. If you've ever played Devil Jin, you may recall that some of the combos and filler moves required difficult maneuvers like forward-forward-left kick, which you had to cancel, and other such moves. These days, Devil Jin is more accessible and uses simply the left kick. Therefore, it irritating that after spending so much time and effort mastering Devil Jin, which was challenging, he has now made it simple. However, we believe that a great deal more people will be drawn to pick him up and discover what a great guy he is. It's unclear which fighters will be nerfed in the next patches, but for the time being, this could be the year of Jin's alter ego. Tekken 8 is released on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PC on January 26. Thanks for tuning in, fighters. Before you hit that pre-order button, make sure to check out our other Tekken 8 videos for in-depth analyses and exclusive insights. Until next time, keep practicing those combos, and we'll see you in the ring.